11. We've been marking the occasion all week long by bringing you meaningful conversations on some of the progress and problems facing Asian Americans, Native Hawaiians, and Pacific Islanders in our area. The Sacramento Asian Pacific Film Festival returns this weekend for its sixth year after a two-year hiatus due to the coronavirus pandemic. This year, the two-day event will be held at the Sophia, home of the B Street Theater in Sacramento. The film festival celebrates Asian American and Pacific Islander voices and stories in film and new media. To discuss more about this, I am joined now by Jason Jong, Executive Director with the Sacramento Asian Pacific Cultural Village and leader of this festival, and Chalene Jane, former Miss Sacramento and an AAPI media personality. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Jason, how does it feel to finally be back after two years? And tell us what folks can expect this weekend. Yeah, you know, our community has really been eager to, to get back, to spend time together, to find places of belonging, moments that are really meaningful. And we're just excited. We're just excited to get back out there and share in community. And so this weekend, we're looking forward to several films, short films, uh, narratives, documentaries, and discussions that really are meant to engage our community and also explore the issues that are important to us as well as our, our other community members. So it's going to be a really fun and exciting weekend full of amazing films and speakers. And in addition to just the distance everybody's felt from community and being able to gather with people that they wanted to over the last two years, the uh, Asian community has also been an additional target during this time of the coronavirus pandemic. So another kind of touchstone topic and why it's so important that these stories are told and people realize how important this community is to our wider community. Now, Shalene, we know you worked on this film festival, got it off the ground in the beginning, but will this year be your first time kind of co emceeing the event? Yeah, I emceed it before and it was an amazing time. We had a great turnout. So I'm back again supporting our Sacramento community. And it's just, it's wonderful to celebrate our heritage, the arts, you know, the Asian American, Native Hawaiian and Pacific Islander community are really coming together to uplift one another, celebrate our heritage and learn diversity that helps all of us really appreciate our different cultures. Why do you think that is so important that AAPI representation is there in film and new media? Absolutely. I mean, we have so many great films that are going to be um, like an example. We have the Black and Asian Unity that's going on. That we have a huge film from Minari that's an Academy Award winning film. It's the you know she was the first Korean to win an Academy Award. We have reparations that are going on. So there's a lot of culture and belongings. The Sacramento community is just. Um, really showing out and so we love it we this event is for everyone um, from all walks of life to really come together and i love that and i think that the community loves it so tickets are on sale they're available you'll see a lot of people in the crowd so it's great networking too to get out there and um, meet some people that are gonna come fly into sacramento and also are based here hometown our local grown community um, entertainment people that I would, you got to know mm -hmm. a chance to widen your circle. Now, Absolutely. Jason, tell us more about your closing night film, Free Chol Su Lee. What is the Sacramento tie here? Yeah, that's right. Well, uh, you know, as Sandra Jin, the co-producer of, of an Emmy award winning perceptions documentary said that you know, Sacramento was ground zero for the movement to free Chol Su Lee. Uh, many folks may have heard of the case of Vincent Chin, who was uh, murdered uh, uh, by you know, racist incidents. And, and uh, before that case kind of galvanized the Asian American political activists of the time, there was this case of a Korean American, Chul So Lee, who was wrongly accused and incarcerated. So there was a, a reporter at the time, K.W. Lee, and he was an investigative reporter with the Sacramento Union. He wrote a series of articles that really inspired this movement. Um, young activists from Sacramento, like Jeff Adachi, who became uh, the uh, San Francisco's uh, top elected public defender, Peggy Saika, da David Kakishiba, all of these folks really cut their teeth in the movement of the time. And, and they all went on to dedicate their lives to community service and, and civic activism. Uh, so there's a there's a really strong connection with the movement that was generated out of 
the concern for this individual, Chul Sol Lee, and you know, Sacramento was the nexus for that. This is an important part of Sacramento's history. Wow. So much to learn in addition to just, you know, films that are just fun occasionally. And where can folks go if they want to buy tickets to the film festival? Absolutely. We're on sale right now at SAPFF.org. Um, follow us on Instagram at Asian Pacific Film Fest. On um, Facebook, you can find us on Sacramento Asian Pacific Film Festival. Um, we're hashtagging to SAPFF 2022. Um, get your tickets now. The Film Fest event is for everyone. Uh, we definitely look forward to seeing you. We're excited to have you. And there's some a lot of good goodies. We have some good coffee, good water, good, amazing friends, and some yummy prizes and treats. And so <laughs> there's going to be a lot of fun stuff that you we don't even share on here that you're going to see live on Saturday and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. on Saturday, and we're at 9 to 9 um, but check us out on the website. All right. <laughs> She's really selling it there, huh, Jason? <laughs> all righty. We're going to have all that yes. information about tickets also on Fox40.com. Thank you so much for joining Thank us this you. morning. Thank you for having us.